Good afternoon crew, Tony here with Jaded Angler and today I'm going to go over how I load my uh, Palm Prowler up into the back of my truck. I get a lot of questions and a lot of comments out on the lake on how I do this. So it's something that I came up with, uh, really simple technique. Uh, you can buy all the parts right off of Amazon and I'll put a link to that below. So let's get started. So here is my Palm Prowler 10 and I'm going to load it into the back of my Ram 1500 pickup truck and I'm going to show you how I do that. Now a lot of people ask me, why don't you just get a trailer for it? Well, that's one of the reasons why I got this Palm Prowler is so I didn't have to get a trailer. I could load it in the back of my truck. Now what I found is without all the modifications that I've made to this, the Palm Prowler is actually pretty light. You can lift it up into the back of the truck yourself, but I've added a little bit of weight to it and I can tell you after a long day of fishing out on the lake the last thing I want to do is try to lift this up in the back of my truck by myself in front of a bunch of people and making a fool of myself so I had a lot of nights where I just laid in bed and I was trying to engineer something up in my head and this is what I came up with so I have a couple of 2x10s, actually it's a 2x8 on the bottom and then a 2x10 on the top. The reason why I have the one on the bottom is you need to get uh, the front of that lip up above this. So, and then simple winch goes up, a couple of pulleys right into the winch where you can buy off of Amazon for like 50 bucks and then I just have it clamped down to the bed of my truck and I can when I'm not out at the lake or I want to use my truck for something else, I just unclamp it and this whole thing comes out and I put it right in my garage with the pond prowler. So, and then for battery source, the cable to this, to the controller, and I just made a quick disconnect right to my battery right here. So I unhook this when I'm not using it and I tuck it right underneath the sleeve, close the hood, done deal. So let's see how this works. Now I do recommend that when you are using the winch that you do start your truck up so it, you're not draining all your battery and get stranded out somewhere. So let's check this out. just as simple as that to load it into the truck then you just strap it down and you're ready to go I put these flags on the back of it just to be in compliance with state law and stuff and I leave it on when I'm on the lake too I figure it doesn't hurt they're waterproof so and then the ramp just slides right up underneath and stays right there so that's that so now how do I get it out of the back of the truck well simply use the same method except for I'm not using the winch this time I unhook the winch and just pull it out and the ramp uh, does all the work so let's take a look at that so crew is just as simple as that load it up into the truck and then uh, unload it from the truck. So thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please hit that like button right there. And if you wanna see more Jaded Angler videos, hit that subscribe button. Thank you.